Hello, my lights. Happy Friday. We're going to get started right away, guys. Please like and subscribe. And guys, if you are wanting a, a reading, I'm offering a $15 reading. Just click on the word Aquarius underneath the video. There's instructions there. All right. Here I'm seeing someone this morning is having this tower moment. All right. However, um, you're realizing, even though you're very emotional right now, that you're free and, and you know this is a good thing. You just, you, you have to go through uh, these emotions before you can get to the feel good part, okay? Because you just, you just, something just occurred that caused this tower moment. Now, for those that don't know, the tower moment is a moment in our lives when we feel like the whole world is just crashing down around us. It's not a good time. It's brought on by an event or a string of events and it feels terrible okay um i'm seeing that this other person or this person here this might not have been brought on by a relationship so i'm going to say this person here is is wanting to come in and give you their cup okay you're not ready for it right this very moment because you're going through these emotions all right but this king of cups this can be a male or a female by the way but usually a male and this person is also very giving, loyal, makes a good parent, makes a good significant other, and usually isn't motivated by money. They usually put family first. So this is a really good person, you know, to come in and uh, give you their cup. All right. So you want to keep your eye out for that person. You're going to use your intuition and that is going to be your justice because you don't want to allow just anybody into your circle, guys. Make sure you're using your intuition and discernment. All right. OK, so here I'm seeing. Yeah, I, I don't know what this is. I have to say that something's getting in the way of your happiness for some of you. All right. There is somebody, though, that who who wants to come in and give to you. And this looks financial. This looks like a bit of money coming in. And this is going to bring the sun. The sun is a very positive card. It's, um, you know, joy, happiness, doors opening. And here you have the world at your feet. So this is opportunity galore. OK, this means that you have opportunity out there waiting for you right now. This is connected to manifestation. So, you know, you would need to be in a positive frame of mind to just be able to go out and get anything you want right now, whether it's money or more money or a new job career or a person, whatever it is that you want, it's already there. All right, you just have to go and get it. And here I'm picking up on a personality of someone who's very giving and loving so much so that you're not creating boundaries and sometimes people will take advantage of you. All right, you're 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 a people, not a people pleaser, you know, per se, but you love people, you're loving, your energy is great. People are always attracted to you. They want to always hear what you have to say. And, you know, this, um, you might be a, an empath, okay? But, you know, you have to draw these boundaries because people will take advantage of you and they have, okay? Here, I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles. All right, guys, so this Ace of Pentacles, we know what this is. This is uh, some. This is a card that brings a lot of excitement to me because I know what this is. This is prosperity, and this is something we're waiting for, okay? We're all waiting for this prosperity that is coming in. We are going to be celebrating, or I should say you guys are going to be celebrating. I always do that when it's something good. I include myself. All right, and here I'm seeing commitment. There's a commitment to this money. Okay. So whatever this is, it's, you know, it's, it's almost ready to come forth. I feel like we're days away or maybe a month. I don't know. I just feel close. I can't put a time factor on it because this is happening in God's time. All right. And over here, I'm seeing a lot of things we're going to be able to choose from, or you're going to be able to choose from once this money comes in. Okay. And I'm seeing you over here, very calm and self-assertive you're you're very um you know you you're you're okay by yourself in other words you don't need help with people you 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 know how to make your own money i always 
lose this word that I'm looking for. Independent. You're independent. Okay. Very independent. All right. And I'm seeing that you're feeling that way right now, but you know, it would be nice for this person to come in. This Knight of Wands over here is looking to come in. And we have the, the King of Pentacles here, which is very, uh, this is a lot of stability. This person is very stable and usually very successful in life. Okay, but some of you have been burned. You've been hurt. And, you know, you're still feeling the sting and you're not ready to put 100% into a relationship. As a matter of fact, some of you are thinking you are, but you're not. You're sneaking away from love uh, without even realizing it. Because you're not, you can't put all of yourself into this relationship or any other relationship because you're scared. You're scared you're going to get hurt. And you're still feeling sadness and regret over something someone did that hurt you. Um, over here, though, I'm seeing this is going to work out with this person and you are going to be celebrating and this is going to be a wish fulfillment coming true for you. Okay, some of you or at least one of you is moving into new waters. You're seeing something. You're starting to see this defensiveness that you carry around with you, which is very good. Now that you're seeing it, you can move on from it and you can, you know, give more of yourself in different life situations. And here I'm seeing the Queen of Cups who is very loving and very sensitive. So, this person here and can be an intuitive, but this person over here is, you know, very sensitive to just what I was talking about. So this could be you. This could be you feeling all these sensitive feelings and defensiveness from prior um, situations and fearful of allowing yourself to give all of yourself in a relationship. Okay, but you're shorting yourself when you do that. But I'm seeing this Ten of Pentacles. This Ten of Pentacles is you enjoying your company with this uh, significant other here and a lot of money all around you. So the Pentacles, they represent money. And you can see that there's a ton of money around the two of you and you're celebrating. Okay, so that's awesome. Um, someone else is feeling lonely and having to make a very difficult decision this morning, or at least, you know, soon they're feeling stuck about this decision having to be made and it's burdening you. It's burdening you to the point where, you know, the faster you make this decision, the faster you're going to get through these emotions and, and feel better. And Spirit is here, you know, saying they have your back and they know you're going to make the right decision. They're helping you. They want you to connect and ask them for help and things are going to go your way. Things are going to end up going in your favor and they're going to flourish. Okay, here I'm seeing some kind of teamwork going on. Okay, somebody's working on some type of a project, working with other people on something. And, you know, this is, this is going to work out well, whatever this is. Uh, right now, it looks like whatever you are working on, uh, there is some decision that needs to be made. And people are coming to you for this decision because they see you as a person who is very supportive, giving, and empathetic. And they can talk to you about anything. You're not like one-sided. You listen to everyone's, you know, input and you take it all in and you work with people. And so this, you know, you were chosen um, by your team because they know how, how good it is to work with you, how you work and, and you, you know, you fit into this project very well. And there's going to be a victory here. This project's going to turn out really well for you. Okay. And yeah, something here, somebody, somebody lost a child or lost their children to, um, some, someone or something. Um, I don't know exactly what happened here. Um, this is just, I'm just seeing like the relationship came to an end with this child or children 
and I'm um, seeing that a, a masculine had something to do with this. They might have gone with the masculine and um, yeah, they're saying, you know, this looks like a marriage and, and an argument over children here. And they're saying that this offer, you know, was way too small for you, meaning that, you know, the significant other in this relationship um, wasn't, you know, it didn't work out, but this person was too small an offer for you, okay? Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's some sneakiness going on with that, something underhanded, and I'm seeing a lot of movement with that, um, but they're saying stay strong. Things are going to balance out, and you will be celebrating again. You will be happy again. All right. So here I'm seeing someone is arguing. Someone's arguing this morning and, you know, they're, they're feeling really upset over this. Um, this is a relationship that, you know, it looks like you're the one that's always putting forth the work. Um, yeah, and you're starting to have thoughts about, you know, maybe wanting somebody new. Maybe it's time to move on. Maybe this isn't making you happy anymore and it's not working out. And yeah, I'm seeing a lot of stress over this. I'm seeing you actually stop feeling stuck, feeling, um, you know, um, anxiety, like maybe even losing sleep over this. And I'm seeing you moving away. Eventually you're going to move away. And this, this new person standing over here, a couple years younger than you is going to look at you like you're the star. They're going to put you on a pedestal and things are going to work out well. Yeah. I'm seeing you have one foot in the door and one foot out. Um, you feel like you've been ignored and I'm seeing a bad ending coming with this and you're going to take some time. All right, take some time and, you know, give this a lot of thought, um, do it the right way, do it, do what's best for you. Okay. And I'm seeing that this is happening very quickly. This is going to happen quicker than you, um, than you planned on. Um, yeah, somebody's going to be left feeling left out in the cold here and defensive, but, um, I'm seeing happiness coming in for, for, for all parties involved. I'm seeing this wish fulfillment card here, nine of cups, and I'm seeing the partner coming in here, two of cups, and over here, the page of pentacles, okay? So uh, good things coming in and something about money, maybe some good news coming in regarding money. All right, and I see the ace of cups here. This is your cup running over with happiness and joy. I'm seeing money, money galore over here, guys. You're building up your money. You're going to be able to do that. Things are going on in the background right now that you're unaware of that is going to uh, allow this to happen. You're going to be able to build money quickly. And I'm seeing spirit over here um, in the mix. They are, you know, this is divinely guided and I'm seeing um, stability and love. I'm seeing this love coming in. So they're saying that not only are you going to feel fulfilled financially and be able to do things you've never been able to do before, um, because you're going to be fulfilled financially. This is a blessing guys. This is nothing more than a huge blessing from above. Okay. And, but not only are you going to have this money, but there's good news coming into you. This lover is coming in, okay? This lover's coming in with the new cycle, and this person's coming in fast and furious. They're very romantic. You're going to be getting mental clarity on this financial offer coming in, this financial offer of money coming into you. You're going to get mental clarity on that soon, all right? It's going to, um, well, I see something here, but I'm not going to say in case I'm not right. So I'm going to have to leave you guys with that. Okay. Um, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, that's the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.